this is a, a very brief introduction to using uh, how to access data in a database using MATLAB. Uh, so I want to say the, the idea of big data nowadays, organizations increasingly have a lot of data uh, which they need to store in a systematic way. Obviously you have data where you really want is information and you need to store it in a systematic way. It's easy to retrieve. And uh, this information for a ton, talking about orders, customers, or the inventory. And for large data sets, you need something more sophisticated than an Excel file. And uh, much of the data stored by companies are stored in databases. Uh, there are many different types of databases. Uh, probably the most common type is uh, used in the industry is called a relational database. And there are many different types of uh, uh, companies that make databases. Uh, Oracle makes one, Microsoft makes one. And uh, but the good news is uh, there's this kind of standard way to uh, extract information from different databases, and that's to use something called structured query language (SQL). And it's used to communicate to the database. You can either input or output data using it. And it is actually a standard. Uh, the very standards that it is. So uh, if you want to extract data from a different database, usually it will support uh, SQL. And uh, this podcast is a very basic introduction to accessing data. Uh, from a relational database using SQL, uh, particularly from uh, a MATLAB program, a MATLAB script. Okay, so this really is a kind of lightning tour of SQL. So the basic idea of SQL is uh, of a relational database is that the data is stored in a table. And uh, you have a little table. Uh, you have to have something like a primary key which sort of labels the uh, uh, the rows. And you can have uh, different information in each table. So week 30, week 32, the date, start of the week, and then the orders from a different company. So in this case, it's a supermarket, and they're taking orders for, say, the milk from different farms. One of the things that makes uh, databases a bit different from an Excel file is the fact that there's kind of a best practice uh, that you try not to repeat uh, information in different places. So instead of having the name of the farm, you put in a, a farm ID, and that is related to another table. Uh, the farm tables here relates the farm ID to the name of the farm, say how many acres it has, and information like that. And, uh, and, and this allows much bigger data sets to be made up and make sure everything's kind of consistent. So this is the kind of difference between, say, uh, why you do this and just say an Excel file. Okay, so uh, we're going to have a, an example of some code where we write a, a, a table uh, into SQL, and then we're going <clears> to <throat> see what commands we are to extract the information, because obviously we might want to extract what the orders are, and this is something you might want to do in business. Okay, so MATLAB has a toolbox to access databases. Uh, so I've checked that the database toolbox is available on the computers and campus. However, when I downloaded uh, my uh, own copy of MATLAB to my Mac, I didn't include it because uh, it's something you have to uh, click a box on, but it's definitely been available on uh, the computers and campus. Uh, normally with a database it's run as a computer program using a server and uh, uh, so it run, it's actually a programmed database and then you kind of query it and then you have a client that connects to the database to query the information. This takes a little bit of configuration because it was a bit complicated for this course. What I decided to use was the interface to SQL Lite. This is a library that implements SQL, structured query language, and however the actual data is stored in a simple file. And uh, this just makes the configuration, just means you can download the file, and then we can kind of concentrate on actually uh, just learning a little bit about some of the syntax of SQL, and we don't have to worry too much about configuration. Uh, SQL Lite is a widely used library for SQL, and it's uh, widely used in mobile phone applications and apps and things like that. And uh, this will allow us to gain some experience with the structured query language. Okay, it's worth... Uh, uh, looking at this website here to see just a little bit about SQL Lite. Okay, so let's look at examples. So the supermarket.db uh, is a database file I've already created. Actually, I've created it with a Python script, and uh, below is a bit of a section of the, uh, the file uh, example underscore SQL.m, which is available on the DLE. And uh, the way it works is con you connect to the file using the SQL Lite this command. And for this to work, you have to have the uh, MATLAB with the uh, database toolkit installed. This SQL query 
This command here tells you to essentially extract everything from orders. Orders is the table, uh, the table name. Uh, and so this command is actually the SQL command. And, uh, and then it runs this fetch, runs this command, and it puts the output in results. And then after that, uh, you close com, which is the kind of connection to this file. Okay, so this is what you get from results. You get an array, and this is essentially that command we have, SQL command, we got essentially get everything. Here's the week number, here's the order number, here's the farm ID, and here's the uh, date table, the, the dates, this is the start of the week. And I have this thing, this ID here is to kind of uniquely uh, describe each row, and it's very similar to, uh, similar but maybe not exactly, this table here, I've added a few more entries. And, uh, okay, actually, uh, the commands here are actually in something called a cell array, and MATLAB, a cell array is what we're using. An array is just an array where the uh, uh, the different columns can have different uh, data types. So this thing here is a string, this here is an integer. And uh, if you look back at the script, example sql.m, I show how to manipulate a little bit with the uh, cell array. But there are simple commands to convert to different formats. Okay, so it's a blow a bit more sophisticated example. Uh, so it's the same example before we have the same file, supermarket.db. We can I connect to it in MATLAB, this is all MATLAB code. Uh, and then now this is an SQL query. So now there's a little syntax for uh, 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 SQL. And here we're selecting everything from the table, from the orders, this is the table. And then we're specifying using this where command where the date equals uh, the 15th of, uh, of April 2019. Uh, and the structure of this thing has to be uh, especially defined, and obviously it has a weird system where they, the date goes first. Uh, and then in this case, you can actually see that uh, we extract the answer just the just the row of the table uh, for, for this date. Uh, and then once this thing's in, this is in a, uh, an array structure, and you can actually extract uh, uh, say the order num uh, the, the number of orders which you, want, you might want to use for some analysis later on. And uh, there's a bit more, an example underscore SQL.m from the DLE. I, I show a bit more examples of how to actually, uh, how to process this information from MATLAB. Okay, okay so uh, this is not, uh, this is just background information. So we have a table of information if we go back. So here, this is very similar. We have our, uh, this is our primary key, and we have uh, different columns. And the different columns, uh, you can't just arbitrarily write data in. You have to uh, give the table a little structure. And this is actually Python code, but it just shows the basic idea. This is what I use to write the, uh, the supermarket DB to create the database in this file. I connect to it to some kind of magic. And then here's the SQL command. And what this create table orders, uh, this is kind of an example of uh, like almost like a schema. Uh, I, I tell uh, the, the different uh, column headings, week, orders, uh, farm ID, and then the date. I tell it which variable is the primary key. And I tell some, I, I tell the, uh, uh, when it creates the table, the orders is going to be an integer, farm ID is going to be integer, and then the date's going to be a, a date. And this is like, uh, very crude definition of schema. We don't really know, need to know for this example because I've already created the supermarket. But this kind of lays out the table and tells you what the uh, the data structures of the table are, whether they're integers or or floats or just dates or characters. Uh, and then uh, so we execute this SQL command, uh, and then later on we just start creating the table, uh, and so we're going to insert into the table uh, week orders Python date, and here's the week orders farm ID and date, uh, and this is how, uh, and then a bit later on I, I added a, another SQL command which I executed uh, and that uh, created a bit more of the table. Okay. Uh, so, so I should just recall that this is Python, so I'm just showing that the way that uh, a table is defined, that actually the columns have special uh, variables, they're told, you have to tell them which each uh, column is and uh, what the variable is.
Okay. Okay, so we're not really going very deep into SQL here. Uh, so here's an example from the W3 School. So that's a, uh, a website that goes through SQL. And you can sign, see here, here are different examples of SQL. Select star from customers. Select everything from customers. The that's the table name. And then this little syntax. Uh, the additional things like how to use uh, where and... Uh, and then there's also where to do things like combine tables. I mean, for this for this program, you just need, really need to look at the for this task. You really just need to look at the uh, examples that I provide and use that. But just for information, there's a whole uh, just uh, 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 way of querying these uh, tables. Okay, so that's just a, a quick brief overview of uh, of uh, the SQL.